Hello everyone and welcome back to another fun exciting episode of the Witcher Trader Wild Hunt. We're just leaving the cemetery behind and going here towards the flooded district because somewhere here should be a laboratory and we might have to deal with a grave robber also that's a woman so yeah I don't know. I mean maybe. I mean I can think of some women that would be after that place like Jennifer that's sending me the map, she would know about it, but would she really be here? I mean, I haven't found any love interest so far, it seems like, in this expansion. I mean, in the other one we had, what was her name, uh, Sheila, she something like that, I don't know. Can I die with a oh, we're looking for some place, and hello, wait, hold on, I need to change to this one, otherwise I won't be able to attack really. Kill them! Shoot! Hey, isn't it supposed to one shot here underwater, otherwise it's uh, like... Bad for me, because I can't really do anything else. Oh, holy shit! Are they not attacking me? It looks like they aren't attacking me because they came really close to me and didn't do anything. Like holy shit! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Last episode we started here on the quest. We searched the grave and then went to, like, yeah, you need to go to the laboratory. And then we went with Radius instead and decided, like, no, we can't not do the main quest. But now we're outside the graves again. So let's look here. I mean, we have small. The Mid area, a little bit smaller. Oh, is it in here maybe? Can I make a water breathing potion? Uh, what happened with my breath? I I thought I went up just a moment ago. What happened? Up you go, please. Oh, it goes a lot quicker when I uh, sprint swim. And I didn't regain it here just by. I, I forgot the narrow about Witcher. In some games, it is like, oh, you get up of the water, you directly get all your breath back. Not here. Here you actually had to wait for the uh, exactly might be, I mean. This same possible one. No, maybe not. Maybe it's outside of this. Maybe above it, maybe around another corner. Am I sure? I wish I had a water breathing potion. I mean, shouldn't that be something Yarb could do? I mean he probably can do it, it's just I haven't found the boy the great recipe for it. Uh oh. A portal. Hopefully there's air on the other side of the portal. Otherwise I might be a little bit screwed, you know. Up, oh, there is. There's still a little water coming. I heard something. Was that Yarrow that made that sound? Great it was Robert very odd. I found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. Yeah. Silver ruby necklace. Turn and face the strange. Search the runes. Grave rubber. Woman, I mean, I expected the bloody boobs to be a love complex, maybe, but she died. Killed her. So maybe this woman, otherwise, I'm, I'm not sure. I want a love uh, interest here. That's a part of the Witcher. So, where am I? Oh, shit, it looks kind of good. Maybe we should use cat. Holy shit, it's a lot bigger. It looks like those um, aqueducts. Uh, Tombs almost. I haven't seen that. How can I say like it looks like those? It looks I imagine those almost. <laughs> what was that sound? On the Paris tombs also. I have no idea. What was that sound? And you're not even drawing you saw what was that? Did I press so did I actually like planted spikes? Oh Sick sense of humor someone's got. It's traps, okay? Can we quen maybe? Quen! Oh god. Can I? I mean, they are red. Can I do something with them or no? I'm afraid if I go too fast, I will just go over another instead. There we go. I just. Not so much these ones that we have to time, it's the other ones to the side that I'm afraid I would go into instead. Oh! That's very close by me. That's too far! That's unfair! I'm not even sure I can roll it. I'm not rolling here, I'm just, you know, jumping if I try to. Oh, that's the Quen. Can I jump over those there? Maybe. Oh, got. Jump! Oh. Okay, we survived it somehow. Somehow. We're fine. It's a plum, because why not? Uh, Okay, let's just. I guess there are some secret loot. You had to 
Turn around. Six. I mean, I have a quen activated here. I can do this. Run. What? See so easy. Oh, Merlit. Is that a good item? I mean, it's, it's a sword. Is it any good though? It's pretty shitty! Who would have known? Such an easy to get treasure. I mean, what's this trapping? I want. Fuck! Okay, luckily, Quen. It absorbed one of those blows at least. Hopefully, this grave robber will be like, talk with me here, and now we just teleport back magically somewhere. Not like actually teleport, but you know, talking that like, yeah, well, let's go there together. I don't wanna go through those things again. Should I activate cat maybe again? I mean, I have barely seen anything. Mm. Was cat always looking like this? I feel like it looked a lot worse before. Oh, so what? <laughs> that scared me. Yeah, maybe actually I do like cats a little. Kitty. I am already pussy. They seem to take a lot of. Am I just missing out or something? Maybe my sword is completely. <laughs> I mean, that's why it's red, right? But I mean, they are 35 and I'm like, what, 43? Although level haven't been that much in the Witchy game. I mean, a little bit. But you could defeat something a lot stronger early on if you want to, really. Spectre Rubidos. You didn't get the chance to see what color they were. And now Cat is over, of course. Fight's over and then we can see nothing again. Come on, get the loot. Sound God, so oh, no, I mean, we come for this one. I really should spec for it also. I've forgotten it. Got it. Something I could have done there in between episodes, but I didn't. Oh! I fell. I fell, my lady. And I didn't even know since all it was too late. Yeah, okay, I'm supposed to go. This. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's down here then? Yeah. This seems to be for. What's that? Oh. Here's some plants. This way, maybe? There are way too many parts here. Oh, that's red. That might be good. Blood soaked. Grave robber was wounded while attempting the climb. Needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the panthers at least. Okay, so they went around. No, but I doubt that was the right way, it was more... Oh, I sneak by here instead. What most... I don't know. This is Moreau's diary. Ooh. No, D. Since certain suspicious individuals have begun hanging around outside my laboratory, I have been forced to implement additional security measures. I suspect they are but common criminals looking for something shiny to steal, and I have no real interest in my research, but better safe than sorry. A little light clickable fragment. Furthermore, under advice on an engineer acquaintance of mine, I have decided to secure the premise with a simple mechanical apparatus. In one of the rooms along the route to the laboratory, I have installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which is operated by pressing four protruding stones placed high up on the walls. I can bypass this lock with ease by using a simple spell, but a common thief will be faced with a double challenge. First, he must notice these stones and puzzle out their purpose. Then, he must find a way to press them. Oh, great. Crossbow, though. Okay, that's a hint, right? Can I... There you go. Can we climb this and then up here? Is that another guardian? Do I... Which stones, though? Can I see them? Yeah, there are three over there. Yeah, this one... When? Yeah. Wanna fight? I thought so. Yeah, we did. 
How do you know? Repetition is fun, right? Not really. Doing the same thing over and over and over again. Maybe not. That. You don't see it. Oh, right, that green glow. I wonder what that was when we had that challenge in going in the room. It's this set I gaining light to that vitality. No. What to do with these stones? Whoever was here must have scaled that wall, evaded the Panthers. Oh. That's it. It wasn't the stone to press. I guess not. We would have a way over here, maybe. Or something. Maybe speak. Oh. I guess that's the entrance, just. We need to um, press the buttons first, and then it will open. I'm certain of it. Maybe not. Right. Okay. You know my theory there about Jennifer? Forget not it. Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. Yeah, can't we climb it? Go down? No? I mean, you're good enough to use that, right? Uh, gold caskets. Holy oh, shit. Money, money, money. Pew! Uh, come on, I saw it before that. Yeah. Pew! Where's the rest one? Are they behind him? Come on. No? Wait. Will they just open the front? Then where are the other stones? Down there. I mean, I see. Oh! There's one! More I mean they said for, so they should be one of this. Those two might get open. Oh, there's the last one. I see you. What the fuck? I mean, magic. That's how it would activate. Those even though I don't want We did it! Uh, yes. Oh, gold nugget. 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 Hmm. Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. Should look around. Holy shit. We have to fight them too. Yeah, of course. How would I know that? I am! Can't I? Yeah. I remember the second game. I tricked him like I was able to trick the gargoyle like. Yeah, I'm welcome here. I know the master, see, and therefore I'm welcome, right? But no, not this guy. He don't believe me. He don't listen. We ask questions later, apparently. Did you say me? Oh, oh, that's very mean of you. Luckily, it seems I only have to face one at a time, and I'm out of solo. Why haven't I meditated? God damn it! God damn it! Oh. Find a way to go forward. The thing in the gargoyle is only actually a side of it, so maybe I could do it anyway. Probably not, it's probably it's like, yeah, when you defeat it, a door opens. So far. The fight don't seem to work at him much at all. Or maybe not work. You didn't work at all! How about Iridan? Come around to this side now. Bring around the roses. No, no. Come on! Here! Over here! I want to see if this works at you at all. Eat another plum, yo. We're down to the pit one. Slow down. Come on. What the fuck is that? Don't throw stuff at me. I'm very sensitive, you know. Right, show the team. 58, yeah, sure. That did a lot of damage. You saw that, right? really need to repair my sword at least. If not upgrade it, I would be happy to upgrade it also. Up 
upgrade, repair something. Just sharpen it at one of those grindstones. Something so it doesn't take a fucking million years to defeat this fat dog. I mean, he has a lot of fat, I guess that's why he's surviving so long. Never actually coming down to anything of the vital, the vital parts. Oh, okay, no, this is taking way too long. There we go. Seems I only get health when I kill. Oh, gargoyle claw. Where do I place it? Oh, I see. Gargoyle Paw. Uh, don't resurrect anyone else, please. <laughs> Great portals. This Way just keeps too many. Better. Way too many portals, and Yarrow don't even like portals. Uh, we should meditate here for an hour. There. Getting the swallow back, getting full life, all that fun stuff. Then let's try a portal. Damn it. Back where I started. Huh. I thought I pulled them. Was it? It was from there I came. I went in there, I came out there. So maybe here then? Right. How to find the next portal. So left. Then where to do next? Left, right. Maybe something like that. Will it be back where I started? Back where I started. Of course, maybe left, left, left. Actually, I should probably witch us and seeing if. Damn it, wrong again. But. Could be some clue around here. Oh, wait. Where are you pointing at? We. I forgot that I need to go here. So. Here. And it's exactly the one he's looking at. I'm an idiot. Why can't I check that before? Like. Yeah, start looking for a clue. Even Yarrow had to tell it. No way. Alright, now to find the next portal. So I guess it's still the same statue. It's oh, not this way. Not that one, but just the one on the other side completely around. But Come on! That's unfair! <laughs> How do I get to it then? Let's cut. Maybe I can see. Then how do I get it? It's the thing that I see. Oh wait, do I jump down and then up down? Let's try. Maybe this is a completely different thing. Here we go. Alright, now to find the next portal. Yeah. Should be again where that one is right so here. Yeah. Oh, there. No worry if you fall. You don't matter that much. It's this one. Uh, it should be here. So this one, right? Please. Yes! Wonderful! Must be where Moreau had his lab. Yeah. Of course. Now let's search the lab for any and all the loot. Like mushrooms, those are very important. Oh, a megascope. Just need to pick an entry. Uh, first entry. So I guess I'm checking the message on the megascope. Something like that. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. 
I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witchers my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. Oh, shit. So, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations. Wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. So Yennefer maybe sent him here because she wants me to have a child with her? Hmm. Ah. Okay, no crystal. Crystal for this entry is missing. Might be somewhere. Should look around. Oh, it's that way. Okay. Should we check the other ones first? Oh, I can't leave, it seems like. Can I? No. Can't leave. I need to check these ones first. Must be looking for the other ones first. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the Glasterarium, the eggs do not develop. Remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Yeah. Do you know your own lift that I've been tried before and if it does any side effect? No, you don't want to mention anything if you know. I mean, you're a witch, you should know these things, right? Okay, what about the last entry? What does it say? What does it say? Years of experiments. Be such. Sacrifice. All for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism, that which I meant to restore to him a normal life, only deepened his mutations, further augmented his speed and strength, rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. Oh. Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. Yeah, we could. Hopefully. Let's summarize. So, professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Yes, like you just said right before. Used the albumens of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. Yeah. Require mutagen, mutate the giant centipede, although find a missing medic. Yeah, because then we might find another way to, you know. Crystals. Should mount them in the megascope. Yeah, I did. That was the two first. crystals. Yeah, let's see if we can find them. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Yeah, he seems bound, right? Oh, that's another one. Megascope crystal. What? Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Yeah. Um, 
guess you apply tubes on it and you have a person in it, something like that. With the green. And another megascope. Uh, what are Preserved these? organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. By the way, he said um, sacrifices and all that. I feel him. They might have. Uh, can't I activate anything? Oh, I guess if I do something here with it, is it on? I get another portal probably leading out. We're not gonna go there yet. I mean, we have still the egg. Uh, thinking about it, giant muted centipede. Have they? Like, probably. Blue to green. I want green to blue, rather. But have they hatched after all that time? And then afterwards, maybe, uh, you know, play their own egg. Can I check this now, please? Just need to pick an entry. Can I use two and three? Yeah, I mean it's two and four. Second entry. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Okay. And the fourth entry? How do I know which is which, actually? Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great Yeah, I found that formula. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Oh. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. So I might be able to have one so if I die I actually come back there with half health or something. Um, really? No Seen summarizing enough. of those? Still only... I, I don't get anything else. Oh, here we might. The so-called giant centipede or my only comfort in exile. Okay, clearly I paid for my wrong, be like sign from the set of Ophir and my hideous green country where all the scent and flavors and steaming. Six seem to be a small colony of or more scientifically speaking. Okay. Here referred to as giant centipedes, living in the vicinity of my hut. This wonderful creature, his sight of which remind me of home, I most likely chose in this area to settle in because of the presence of Shalmas? Whose dropping continues the food of smaller animals, which in turn are consumed by. Okay. Sometimes I snake up on them when they are feeding, and I might have hooked the limbs. Many balls are sturdily seem made of iron. Nothing about how to kill them. Anything else here, though? I mean, we found one transmuting one to another. Which would be good if it wasn't I'm off the blue run rather than. Quite the library. Mostly what? tomes on mutations and genetics. Oh, which are mut. I don't want that. Okay, so it was here. I thought that was a hidden door or something. But no. no. Okay, thank you. Nothing here, I mean. No? Strange. Mm -hmm. Mom's awake and she's not in a good mood. Okay, so. As I, oh! As I said, action. Pale widow. I think I should have checked the day story first for something about it. I feel Irden might be the best choice here. Or maybe you are just to the side. Come on! Burn! God damn it! Don't hit it at all! There we go, finally! What the hell? Oh, that's... different. Fire! Does fire not work on it? I hate enemies that doesn't work with fire. Doesn't burn. Come on. Come 
Oh, that's me. Oh, I get to hit you then. Another one. Really, another one? Wasn't the first one enough? You know, I came here because I thought, wait, I don't want to fight a lot of enemies to get to them. On your Let me do this! Oh, so fucking tell me. Oh, come. Don't do this to me. Please. Just... Was that another one or did it. Are they, are they re animating or something? I don't know. It's fucking more health. Go out of the way, but whiff again. How many are there? I feel like they're just getting more and more. Oh, and that's why everything is like this. I've gone down to the alcohol drinking instead of breakers. Maybe I should go to Gwen instead. Maybe Iridan. Oh, let's try Iridan. If they come. They would be just slow and uh, wouldn't actually have any effect at all in there. Uh, well. Come on! Such a bother here! They just think like, no! We just disappear directly as soon as you see us. The stats there! There we go. What happened with you? Um, uh, so they mourn one another when they. Oh, widow. I see a little bit of this, I see. Oh, wait, please. Come. I just want some eggs. I think I'm getting sober again also, that's good. Right. Right. There we go. Finally dealt with. And there was only two of them. Need your eggs. Yeah. Sure, where are those then? Red music, close to carcass. There's another enemy here, it says on the map. Maybe no. Where's the egg? Do I have to leave here? I think somewhere else. No? Close me. No wing. Is it that one? No? I mean, we see it. But clearly, it's over here somewhere. Hi right there, do we really have to fight you in a small corridor? Damn, you're ugly. <sighs> How many do I have to fight of these ones? Now we're getting drunk again. Wonderful. Just what I always thought. But I should have here meditated in the dream. Come on. Just spit on me and then, yeah. There we go. That's how we get them. Stay up at least a little bit. I don't like this here. Like, oh, you hit me now when I'm down like this. Then you actually put damage too, not only getting stunned. Oh, there we stop it at least.
one, two, three. Oh, the way, otherwise, he's just gonna be like, yeah! Let's get you stunned anyway. I'm not sure how I get take damage though. For hitting a hard target, I guess. Seems pretty stupid. Maybe that's just me thinking that. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on. Suddenly they used a new attack box. So wonderful. Okay, is there any eggs here? Please tell me there is. Don't tell me there's a bigger one I have to defeat also later. Is there? there! Eggs! Sent me. Alban in Professor Moreau's con contraption and start the machinery. Okay. It's not here maybe? Fine. There we go. No, and we're through. Right at the megascope. Now, how to work this machinery? So, wait. Get undressed! Ooh! Sexy naked witch! Gonna. Ooh. Ah! Gold? Undressed, it said. That means your trousers too, right? No? At least the medallion, maybe? Actually. Just in case there comes some strong um, enemy. Intriguing as Michelle's notions might work on my start of the his son. Well, time to find out. Yeah. Let's see how it works. And out come Yarrell as a normal human instead. <gasps> this experimentation actually worked this time around. <laughs> Probably not. Please tell me I'm a lot stronger now. You unlock the mutation system. Mutation lets you gain new cap capabilities, increase your advantage over normal men, and giving you an added edge in killing monsters. Yep, yeah, isn't it? Lead his level to. Oh, can we see where the new enemies? Actually, I should probably undress dress first, right? Oh. Can I change the color of the armor? Oh, oh, wonderful. Belonging to which gear sets? Oh. Why? What does that matter then? Up to your plane. No, okay, and this one is right on the plane, so. Why is it on? Oh, wait. Which is good. Yeah, I know. So that's actually count as a witch's school, this tech mutan. Dianite and fork. A wood, maybe? If black didn't already look awesome, and I'm afraid I'll only be able to dye it once with peach color. Or peach, relic, or skull. Now, where do I? Is it alchemy, maybe? No. No. Or it'll be strange meditation character here. Ooh, a big thing's here. Let's see to open them. Ooh, we have some new things. For mutation research, the finish successfully. You must devote the required number of ability points and mutagens to it. Okay. Advanced. Choose one of the advanced mutations. To develop an advanced, you must first develop other most basic one. Information about this can be found in Mutant. Yeah. Okay, so I guess these are the basic ones we get, and then we can upgrade further. Like, magic and medicine. Science can deal critical hits, the critical hit chance and damage increase with science intensity. Currently, for 2% chance to deal an additional. Hmm, Oh, deadly counter sword attack deals 25 more damage to human opponents, immune to counter attack and monsters. In all other cases, if the attack has vitality less than 20, counter so as a finisher, or each time you are injured in melee combat, the attacking opponent receives damage in the, the amount of damage dealt for every point of your toxicity. 
Oh. Kinda. Oh. I need to check these things out. But for now, we're gonna leave this place and then just leave the episode altogether. Let's see where we end up here though. Is we underwater? Of course it is. Well, you know, under the sea where they sweat the there, it's better or something like that. I don't know. Either way, we're gonna end the episode now. When we're back, I probably have prepared things, checked the mutagens, maybe the gear a little bit. You know, stuff that you don't really need to see, right? But either way, until next time, goodbye!